All right, on this debate night, Pennsylvania lawmakers, they were originally planning uh, to spend the evening playing a bipartisan baseball game, but the rain canceled those plans, and now legislators are going to head straight to their partisan watch parties to watch Walls and Vance in action. And our Pennsylvania State Capitol correspondent, Kara Jeffers, spoke with some of the legislative leaders about what they want to see from the deba debate. Both mentioned that more discussion about policy will be good. Each party also wants to see smart tactics when discussing policy. And recognize that higher electricity prices and inflation is being driven by many of the bad policies coming out of Washington. And it's my hope that uh, Senator Vance points out that you know the current vice president has had the opportunity to fix these problems over the last three and a half years and not done so. So what will be different? Look at some of the polling. It looks like the younger folks are very supportive of Vice President Harris, but uh, we may lag behind with respect to our senior citizens. And so I'm hopeful that they talk a little bit about where things stand along those lines, how they're going to benefit our seniors, how they're going to continue to make prescription drugs more affordable, how they're going to protect health care programs going forward. And both campaigns hope their Midwestern candidate will connect with rural voters across the nation, plenty of which reside, of course, in Pennsylvania. And as part of Erie News Now election coverage, you can count on, we have a complete online voter guide to help answer any election questions you might have. You can get to it by scanning the QR code right at the bottom of the screen, or you can head to our website, erienewsnow.com slash voter guide.